So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. Today's video will cover the best compact cameras. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description box down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Camera technology these days has progressed enormously, especially in the compact market. And although today's smartphones are capturing most beginning photographers, improvements in imaging have given compacts a new rise in popularity. And today's compacts have the best selection of features to date, all in an attempt to lure customers from smartphones. So much so that spending the money on a compact camera is again worthwhile. Sure, you may question whether a dedicated camera is necessary, and while basic point and shoots have mostly disappeared, today's compacts sport many advantages, and they're the perfect companion for your next creative endeavor. Compact cameras combine convenience and portability, and they're the ideal option for travelers and on-the-go creators looking for a hassle-free replacement to a bulky DSLR. They're also the ideal option for beginners wanting an upgrade in image quality without most cameras' annoyances. Today's compacts bring superior functionality, touchscreens, excellent focusing, and 4K video as mostly standard and they've now surpassed even the advanced DSLRs of years prior, all the while being small enough to slide into a cargo pocket. As such, it makes sense to see them return in a powerful comeback, but ultimately not every compact camera is created equally. Some will offer more advanced features to sway seasoned photographers or videographers, others just the necessities. With that, in today's video, we'll cover the best compact cameras, and you can also find a detailed guide outlining the factors you may want to consider when comparing models, and that detailed guide is in the link in the description box down below. But with that, on with the list. Coming at number 5, Canon's PowerShot G1X Mark III. Canon's G1X 3 is the current flagship of the Premium G series lineup. The G1X 3 features a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor, 24 to 72 millimeter lens and 1080p 60 fps video. It also includes a 3 inch very angle touchscreen, an EVF, optical stabilization, panorama, HDR, time lapse, built in neutral density, focus bracketing, built in flash, and wireless connectivity. This release marks Canon's first compact camera to feature an APS-C size sensor and dual pixel AF technology, features typically coveted to their DSLRs. This larger sensor allows the camera to produce nuanced images with better detail, low light performance, and dynamic range. It also helps the camera make print-worthy photos despite its otherwise compact size. The G1X3 is also one of the few cameras in the segment that offers extensive weather sealing, and its robust construction helps keep dust, sand, debris, and water at bay to ensure reliable performance no matter the environment. Overall, Canon's G1X3 is compact, sure, but it delivers a DSLR's performance and image quality to match, and its big sensor has a big impact, yet surprisingly small size. Coming in at number 4, Panasonic's Lumix SZ200, also known as the TZ200. With the SZ200, Panasonic challenges Sony's popular RX100 series. The SC200 features a 1 inch 20 megapixel sensor with a 24 to 360 millimeter lens in 4K 30 and 1080p 120 FPS video. It also includes a 3 inch touchscreen, stabilization, a built in flash, an EVF, the 4K photo mode, focus bracketing, HDR, and wireless connectivity. With this release, Panasonic opted to squeeze in a much larger 1 inch sensor, substantially improving the camera's low light performance but it also simultaneously helps produce better images with a pleasing background blur. Additionally, they've also redesigned the lens, now providing a 15x optical and 30x intelligent zoom, and at this price point, it's the current benchmark in zoom capabilities. Overall, Panasonic's ZS200 is a powerful all-in-one with plenty of manual control and versatility, and as a challenger to Sony's RX100, it's quite a compelling alternative indeed. Coming in at number 3, Fujifilm's X100V. Fujifilm's X100V is their latest premium street camera. The X100V features a 26 megapixel APS-C size sensor, a fixed 23mm lens, 4K 30 and 1080p 120fps video. 
It also includes a 3-inch tilting touchscreen, weather sealing, built-in neutral density, zebras, log profiles, panorama, an EVF, a tally lamp, multiple exposures, HDR, time-lapse, and wireless connectivity. With this model, Fuji's overhauled both the sensor and autofocusing system, and the X100V now obtains their latest 425-point hybrid AF system from the flagship X-T3. Even so, its fixed 23mm equivalent lens is also refined, and now in its second generation, it offers superior sharpness, macro performance, and less distortion. Plus, this release also finally brings 4K to the lineup and a tilting touchscreen to add much needed versatility, along with 30 FPS bursts and 17 classic film simulations. Overall, it's easy to see that the X100V is an extensively polished release, but it still delivers the feeling of shooting film in the digital age. As such, it's a highly unique camera, but an excellent option if you want nostalgia. Coming in at number two, Canon's PowerShot G7X Mark III. Canon's G7X3 is the latest entry into the esteemed G7X lineup of multimedia cameras. The G7X3 features a 1-inch 20-megapixel sensor with a 24 to 100mm lens and 4K 30 and 1080p 60fps video. It also includes a 3-inch flipping touchscreen, optical stabilization, time-lapse, HDR movie, neutral density filters, USB charging, a microphone input, and wireless connectivity. Unlike rivals, this particular camera is now one of a few to provide vertical video support to TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. But it's also the first camera to support direct live streaming to YouTube, an exciting bonus that will quickly sway content creators. Plus, it also offers the high frame rate movie mode to shoot 120 FPS videos in camera. Overall, the G7X3 offers exciting new additions over its predecessor, and it's an excellent camera for content creators looking for an intelligent yet portable solution. Coming in at number one, Sony's RX107. Sony's RX107 is their latest premium compact camera. This seventh generation model features a one inch 20 megapixel sensor, a 24 to 100 millimeter lens, 4K 30 and 1080p 120 FPS video. It also includes a 3-inch flipping touchscreen, optical stabilization, an EVF, vertical video, log profiles, time-lapse, HDR, panorama, zebras, a built-in flash, a microphone input, and wireless connectivity. The RX107 obtains Sony's class-leading hybrid AF system, which sports the fastest focusing of all compact cameras at just 0.02 seconds, but it also boasts real-time AF which provides advanced eye detection for humans and animals. Additionally, it inherits some of the flagship capabilities from the Sony A9. Namely, the sensor makes 60 calculations per second, producing 20 frames per second burst with autofocus or 90 without or 1000 using the high frame rate mode. And these speeds make capturing decisive moments an afterthought. Overall, it's clear why Sony's RX107 is the top compact camera. Inside this camera lies everything required to capture stunning photos and videos. Not only do you get a camera with remarkable telephoto power, but it also offers class-leading flagship performance in a jacket-friendly form factor. And it packs a punch that easily pleases all skill levels, from beginners to pros. So, there you have it my friends. There is our list of the best compact cameras. For more information on this list or to read the detailed guide, look at the pinned comment in the description down below and that will take you right to the full post. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we miss something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>